My name is Randall Bolden, and I'm the head football coach here at the high school, but also help with the junior pro programs. When the flood came across our athletic facilities, none of the kids had made it here yet, so we were very fortunate with that. You know, it came across our game field, it came into our field house. It's about chest deep coming all the way across. It, it destroyed our softball fields, our football fields, obviously. It left glass and nails all over our football facility, field house, and our baseball field. Like everything that was in the path of that waterway coming through was, was pretty much destroyed. You know, we're displaced. Our elementary school and our middle school was completely destroyed. Uh, there was water seven to eight foot deep inside those school buildings. Our athletic facilities got a lot of structural damage, um, but the high school was able to be saved. We're practicing on a baseball field in New Johnsonville. The kids are carrying their equipment home with them. They don't have a locker room, so to speak. I was in school for only two weeks when the flood happened. We had our first game on that Friday, and the next day the flood happened. I got the call from my mom, and she had to get up on the roof, and then uh, went to the house the next day, and there was this big hole where a wall had washed out. It doesn't matter if you lived in Waverly, McEwen, New Johnsonville, you were affected by this flood in one way or the other. Your home may not have been directly affected, but someone you knew, a loved one, a family member, a friend, your, your place of uh, employment, you know, you were affected in some way, shape, form, or fashion. A lot of these people are, are getting out and they're helping other people. That alone, you know, you're, you're affected by it, so you're seeing the damage and people just lost all, everything that they own. So it's, it was a, definitely a, a sad situation, and I think it affected all residents of Humphreys County. I think I'll remember how the community came together and helped one another out. I think that was the biggest thing that I'll take from this.